Hey guys, welcome to your reading. Welcome back if you're returning. This is going to be a reading for Leo. Leo, I'm going to take a look at how your person currently thinks and feels about you. The person that you feel a connection with. This could be someone new or someone from your past or just someone you're thinking about at this time. I'm going to look at how they saw you in the past, how they felt about you in the recent or distant past to see if anything's changed. And if so, how? If you've been on this person's mind, what are they thinking about at this time? <laughs> I always end up rhyming and it's unintentional, but I like doing it anyways. And then we're going to see here what's going to happen in the near future, or let's just say future. What can you anticipate and or expect from now till the end of November? Okay, this is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising placements. If this reading does not resonate for you, check those other placements. And Leo, if I'm strongly picking up on your energy, just know I have no control over that either. But if you guys wish to do a personal reading with me, my email's in the description box below this video. I do have a lover special you can use. Or if you prefer a full in-depth reading, emergency reading, a follow-up reading on your person, we can do that as well. Okay, so in the past, they blocked you or you blocked them. Okay, there was an argument, but some of you made up. This was just right off the bat. Okay, hmm. a lot's happened in the recent or distant past. You could have been dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, fire sign, another fire sign like yourself, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. And I also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Okay, Scorpio. Okay. What I'm getting here is this is an argument mostly about commitment or how committed someone is. You could have been mad at them. I, I feel like there was some kind of miscommunication here. It's not really about the argument per se, okay? You know when we bring up, like let's just say a couple starts fighting over a towel. It's not really the towel. I don't even know why I came I thought of that. I don't know who that might be for, but you guys get what I mean. It wasn't really necessarily about the towel, but she feels like... He never puts her first. So when he got out his towel and didn't get hers, she's like, well, where's mine? Why do you always do that? And he's like, are you really doing this right now? Are you really serious? You're tripping over a towel. It's not really about the towel. You know what I mean? It's about all those previous um, incidents, you know, times when he didn't, you know, ask her, didn't put forward his or her feelings, his or her, doesn't matter, okay? That's, I don't know, for some reason, that just came to me right now. I don't know who it is. Uh, you could, obviously, not over a towel. For some of you, it could be something else. But what I'm getting here is just, it was an argument that just, it sparked and became this huge flame, okay, over something pretty small. But it wasn't because it was something small. It just, it kind of built up over time, you know, and the way they feel about all this, I feel like the person that you were dealing with kind of saw it as like, oh my God, here we go again, or this could be you. And so here with the high priestess, the star of the world, spirit's kind of showing me here, Leo, your person didn't know what you were on about, didn't know what you were like, why you were saying certain things. They had a lot of question marks here. I'm also getting here you left them or you threatened to leave them, never talk to them again. Okay. There was a suspicion here of someone seeing someone else or maybe cheating. There was a, um, I'm seeing here, there was, there was an argument about someone's availability. But you guys did continue to work on this relationship. I'm getting a lot of hot and cold energy here. Okay, so that's kind of how they felt about you in the past. In other words, 
they didn't know like what was going on. What I'm feeling right now is like I'm mad at Lee. I am actually getting here. Someone may have like fought back, said, look, I don't want this. I want you to leave. I don't want to see you right now. I don't want to talk to you right now. Hang up and just, you know, didn't see you for days or weeks. Or you might have done that to them. There was a threat to the relationship here. Both of you felt it here. Like, is this really it? Is this really over? Some of you guys may have walked away from this person. Others of you with the three of pentacles with the world. I'm seeing here, even though... They were very defensive. You guys may have gotten into an argument or a fight. Even then, they knew, oh my God, here we go again with Leo. Can't stand him or her, but I do love him or her. And so you guys may have gotten back together. Let me see how they see or think of you now. I'm also kind of getting here for somebody they were also very scared of you leaving them, so they wanted to leave you first, okay? I am definitely getting that. Very defensive, five of pentacles, seven of wands, high priestess. Like, what is he or she really doing? I, I kind of get here they were upset with you, but this is more like assuming you were doing something. Some of you, I mean, maybe were not entirely innocent, but I think for the most part you were. But this person, Five of Pentacles, Seven of Wands energy is really like, I'm afraid that you're going to hurt me. So I'm going to hurt you before you do that. I don't know. It could be the other way around. I will clarify that. That's a little confusing to me. Show me the energies here. Yeah, see? The Nine of Swords just flew out. That's anxiety. Like, I'm going to stay over here. You know, before you hurt me, I'm going to bite back. I'm going to show you, you know, like, don't come any closer kind of energy, okay? You guys are both a little bit of wrong. Okay, let me see here. What's going on in the, in the current... How, how is this person feeling about you now, Leo? Oh, man, okay. This person's... Whoever it is I'm, I'm picking up on, Queen of Swords, Eight of Swords, man, whoever this is... This, Definitely cannot be for all of you, but I feel like this is for somebody very specific, maybe for 0.0001% of you guys. The Eight of Swords and the Queen of Swords, she's in, she's in protective mode. She's in defense mode. She's out right now, or he. Like, I don't know what, I'm just, I'm going to plan for the worst. I don't know what to expect from him or her. I want to see, they're going to try to learn you. They're going to try to see if their assumptions of the situation is correct. They also see that right now you don't probably want to talk to them. Okay. But this is how you're, they have to get through some walls now to get to you. You know, because something here happened. They did something here to you. Hurt you, said something that made you question the relationship, the future of the relationship, the validity of the relationship. Yeah, two of wands, three of wands. But we do have the two of cups. I love this. Okay. So they're looking forward to the future. Leah, what I'm getting right now. Okay. In the recent or distant past, someone here had enough. Someone lost their cool, lost their temper. They felt even if they left you, they broke up with you, ended things with you, that was probably one of the hardest things they've ever done. Like hurting you hurt them. Because this isn't what someone wanted to do. At the end of it all, Star and the Three of Pentacles, I mean, they weren't expecting this, but they were willing to go with the flow is kind of what I'm getting. But something here happened. Someone triggered somebody. This could be because of y'all's past. This could be your past with your previous partner and their previous partner or what you guys had together, experienced together. But ultimately here, it's like, I don't. I don't know where we're going. I don't know if I want this. I don't know if I believe you. I don't know if I can trust you. I think you're on to something here. I don't know if I can fully let down my guard. In the present moment, it looks like they're still being kind of cold towards you. They don't know what to say. They don't know how to heal this right now, but you're on this person's mind. 
They think that whatever it is you went through with this person, three of wands with the two of cups, they had never felt this love like this with any other. They're looking towards the future, but it's with you in it. This person can be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sag, Scorpio's in here as well, Pisces, Cancer, it could be any sign. Okay, there could be two men or women involved, a wife and a girlfriend, okay, husband and a boyfriend or kind of, the son. there's going to be a soon-to-be ex here because the fool fell out. Okay, this fool is on to the new beginning, okay? This is a new journey, new chapter. They don't know exactly what they're walking into, okay? There's fears, there's uh, trepidation, there's intimidation, but ultimately their curiosity, okay, is their, is, is dominating their internal compass, and it's towards you. What's coming up for Leo in the near future, please? Thank you. Yeah, I do see a new beginning. Ace of Swords with the Moon with the Five of Swords. Okay, so they know what they want, but they're confused as to how to get it with you. Their mind is kind of saying, you know what, leave it alone. And I feel like with the Moon and the Five of Swords is mostly ego because of what's happened here and because of what they said. They might have been the one to end things here, like block you, not talk to you, not say anything here. But deep down, they really want to straighten things out. They miss having you in their life, miss speaking to you every day. That like period of time when things are pretty intense and there's a lot of this back and forth action. The two of cups being here is my soulmate card. You don't typically, okay, as much as like I as a reader throw the word uh, soulmates and twin flames out, um, you know, because I'm a reader, I read for every sign and whatever, but it doesn't really happen that often, and I know that, okay, this doesn't really happen that often, maybe luck, some people will luckily experience a two of cups relationship, maybe once, twice, maybe max three times in their whole entire lifetime, and this is coming out for you, so I know this is a very intimate, very intense, very romantic, very strong, can be feeling right debilitating sometimes, because it really pushes you, you know, it really makes you, you know, vulnerable, scared. You make, you want to rather play it safe than sorry. But this is the kind of energy that they have to you. It's like, I want you so much, Leo, but you just, I don't know, something here that happened. That's why they have the moon and the five of swords are really thinking about the situation right now. Do they really want to take that leap? Do they really want to go there? But with the fool coming out, I do see that they want to. Here's the energy in their current position. Ace of Swords, you know, this is taking charge, taking action, finding the strength to tell you, to tell you how they really feel, to clear something up. They have a sense of clarity. Okay. They reflected on the situation. They're making a decision. That's how your person currently thinks and feels about you right now. <clears throat> the Emperor. It could be an Aries or a Scorpio. Wow. Emperor, justice, death, judgment. Wow. Okay. Um, all major arcanas here. The Emperor with the judgment, death, and justice. I, I feel like you guys are fighting over something or there was a fight in the recent or distant past. This person wants to balance the scales. They want to make something right. And judgment here with death. Okay, if you guys know about this character in the Game of Thrones, he raises the dead, right? I love using this Game of Thrones deck. And here's death right here. So I do see here this person is thinking about bringing life to a situation again. Wants to balance the scales. You guys may have done something to each other. I'm not going to get into that. But this, I feel like, is your soulmate, your twin flame, emperor, empress. 
person here who will very seemingly be your um, husband, future husband, future wife. We have so many possibilities here for um, their current energy. Tell me about the Two of Cups for how they see Leo. Thank you. Oh, beauty. The rebel completion. Oh, Leo. Uh, you're the missing piece. Okay. They feel empty right now without you, but they're scared. I mean, I already told you guys that. Um, they may have some... I'm not going to get into that, but they see you as a rebel, rebellious. You stand up for yourself. You're free to speak your mind. They, they feel like you're not somebody that, you know, um, they treat as a door, doormat, which, I mean, definitely are not. But I'm seeing here they're a little bit intimidated is what I'm trying to say right now to speak to you. They do miss you a lot. They feel like you are their perfect match. You match so well with their energy, with their character, their personality. What's advice for what's an advice for Leo? It's advice for Leo's cross watcher. Don't know what to title your video. They're scared to talk to you or they want to tell you this, because that's what I'm getting. Okay. Leo's advice, please. Thank you. Leo's cross watchers advice. Allow your heart to sing with joy. You guys are very passionate about each other for cross watcher. And Leo, your advice here is to flirt. Okay. So you guys do have a lot of feelings for each other still. But I feel like you're holding back. I feel like you're kind of giving them. Yeah, I feel like someone here is playing games. Like acting um, uninterested when they really are. You know? And honestly, what I think is if you play games, and I know I'm not here to be like a relationship counselor or anything, nor am I ever qualified, or nor am I qualified to be, but I just know from personal experience, if you guys have feelings and you don't say it and you kind of end up resorting to playing mind games with each other, that's just going to be the health of the relationship moving forward toxic, okay? If you want to let down your guards and be completely vulnerable, then you're going to have a very loving, caring relationship. And I feel like you guys are doing that. It's your person who's afraid because they're in the nine of swords in their heads about it eight of swords queen of swords you know their walls are up they're trying to act like they don't like you and they clearly do but there's a lot of chemistry between you both there's a strong magnetic attraction here but someone here is afraid to let down their walls stay optimistic about your love life it's worth waiting for get a personal reading i feel like i'm say, speaking to somebody specific here Leo, I have a lover special you can take advantage of for only $33.33. I hope this reading made more sense to you guys than it did to me. I hope this video helped. Thank you guys for your patience and for your time. I'll see you guys in the next one, so please subscribe. Like this video if it kind of resonated with you. If not, check your other placements. I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks or in your personal reading. Bye, guys.